A very good evening from the final Halloween vlog of Screen Park Worldwide 2017. We're here for our first time at the Haunted Castle, which is the Halloween event that's held here at Warwick Castle. Now, it was here just over a month ago when we came to do a standard vlog throughout the daytime where we did all the different historical uh, parts of the castle. We went all around the towers and ramparts and we watched the Birds of Prey show, uh, shared our review from the dungeon and just generally had a really good day here. So make sure you check it out if you want to know a little bit more about everything else here at Warwick Castle. But of course, this is the Haunted Castle. It's a Halloween event, home to three different attractions. We've got like a family walkthrough and various other little bits to see as well. And I'm joined by the one and the only Charlotte. Spooky Charlotte. Spooky Charlotte, who's got her uh, spooky dress on. Where's that one from then, for anybody who wants to know? eBay. eBay? £5.49. £5.49. Why pay ridiculous prices? They are. From eBay. Free delivery. There you go. So yeah, the Haunted Castle, obviously, we're just come in at the entrance. It starts at five o'clock. And you'll see this a little bit better later on, so I will show you another shot. Uh, but we've got a moving head just down here, which is projecting that onto the side, the Haunted Castle. Then all this is lit up in a really nice blue. I mean, it's sunset at the moment. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes to go. So I'm looking at the clock up there. Yeah, about 20 minutes to go until the attractions open here for this evening. What attractions have we got then here, you all ask? Charlotte's going to uh, go through them all for us now. So. What have we got? For the Scaredy Squires. The Scaredy Squires, yeah, the family stuff. The Witch's Tower. Yeah, so that's located uh, inside the main sort of yeah. courtyard area, just up there, and yeah. And down here, we have the Haunted Hollows. Haunted Hollows, which is just down there. And we have been through that in the daytime. Uh, just we went through that, didn't we? And actually, it's quite nice in terms of a, a walkthrough. And we believe there's going to be actors in there from five. So we'll uh, head in there and we can film in there as well, which is good. In the central courtyard, we have Dead Centre Stage. So that's got all different bits of entertainment on. It's worth pointing out that they also have a fire jousting show, which is on during peak during times. Half -term. Yeah, it was on in half term. Unfortunately, that isn't on this evening. Uh, but oh well, it doesn't matter, we've got the scare attractions. What have we got? For the Daring Dukes, we've got the Doll's House. So that's a full-scale scare attraction which is located next to the Castle Dungeon, yeah? And then for the Brave Knights, the we've Brave got Knights. Outbreak 1349. So I assume that's all about what, the plague or something yeah, like that, an outbreak of, uh, outbreak of the plague. And then Seance. Seance, which Seance. we know quite a bit about. It's actually run by an external company. Uh, and what they've done, they've come here, it was like some festival or something, they've come here, set it up, and basically it's a scare attraction with a difference. You actually sit around a table, I believe, and put your hands on the table, like you are conducting a seance, uh, and then you have headphones on, I believe, there's a few uh, little effects and stuff, and from what a lot of people have said, it's actually one of the scariest things they've done this Halloween, if not the scariest. So I can't wait to uh, get in there and check it out. Are you excited? I'm scared. Yeah, so we got, what, the two full-scale attractions to do inside there, a couple of other family walkthroughs, and yeah, and the seance as well, so it's going to be really good. I'll uh, show you a few shots uh, of the castle throughout the night. I mean, like I say, this looks like it's going to be really nice uh, when it gets dark. Give it about half an hour, it'll be pitch black. Right, we've got about 15 minutes to go uh, until the opening. I think we're going to start with Doll's House, aren't we? Which is I the have got first a attraction. of dolls. Ever since I was a child, I've hated dolls. Oh, no. Well, you're going to love this one, then. We'll uh, make our way around into the castle courtyard and get in the pre-queue for uh, Doll's House. It's a Monday night. It's the 30th of October, the night before Halloween. And like I say, our final scare attraction of the year. Let's go, the Haunted Castle. Spooky. I must say already I've noticed they put a lot of effort in with lighting here at the Haunted Castle. I mean, look at this, we're just walking now up into the courtyard area, which is the hub, if you like, of the attractions. Look at this, just a little bit of lighting all on it. It looks brilliant. It looks really good all up there to the towers and ramparts. Spooky green light in here. Oh, it looks like we've got loads of lights up here in the courtyard. There's the stage in the middle. It's amazing how much atmosphere, some lighting really has. How good does that look? And from this angle as well. Looks really nice, that does. Lit up better than the towers at uh, Alton Towers, actually. Here we are. So this is how we go. We've got Doll's House just over here. Not too much of a pre queue actually, considering it opens in, what, 15 minutes? Lighting all the way around the side. You've got some up the top there as well. Outbreak 1349's there. So these attractions are all relatively close to each other, really. Obviously, I won't be able to film inside the uh, three scare attractions here, but I can take you inside the Haunted Hollows, which we'll go in later on. And I'll uh, share some footage from inside. Right, here we go, Doll's House. We're going to get in the queue. Are you ready? 
No. Bring it on. I'm not too sure what to expect from these, to be honest. A lot of people have said it's a full-scale attraction, but I believe it takes you around some of the bits where you can normally walk around during the daytime. Um, so, yeah, I just don't really know what to expect, but I'll give you a full review when we come out of the doll's house. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> So we've just come out of attraction number one of the evening, uh, Doll's House, which you know what, it was good for what it was. I mean, you can tell that they haven't spent a lot of money on that attraction. I mean, you walk through basically all the different scenes, what you can normally go through in the daytime as part of the walkthroughs here at Warwick Castle. And you go through there and you've got some very simple scenes throughout it. What worked really well with an actor in there. Uh, at the start, you went into the first room. There was a staircase, a projection on the wall, explaining quite a deep storyline to it actually about the dolls that used to inhabit the house and all this sort of stuff and then coming alive and then you go sort of up some up the stairs uh, into some of the rooms where you've got all dolls at the side uh, which was quite nice a few little bits of theme and what they've added in there but it was mostly using stuff what's already in there like the big uh, there's like a big bed scene that's normally there you can see it in the daytime you got all the different mannequins and waxworks in there uh, that were really good and there was a few jump scares actually uh, you had a uh, jack-in-a-box which is cool when you walk past that it all lit up with strobes uh, and then you walked all around the top where you normally go through on the walkway and then into the finale scene but unfortunately the finale was ruined a bit for us because we'd caught up with the other group at that point we saw what the ending was going to be which is basically a massive projection screen uh, on all that, that cloths and things and then two of the dolls came out uh, and did a jump scare with some strobe lighting you know what I enjoyed it, it was not a bad attraction, it lasted probably about seven or eight minutes, so it wasn't really long, but yeah, you can tell that it is just done on a budget really, but as we kind of expected, we didn't really know what we were going in for with it, did we? But yeah, I enjoyed it. Budget attraction, I thought it was done really well. Yeah, I mean, you can't compare it to the likes of no. you know, the maze at Thorpe Park or Alton Towers, they're obviously big high budget attractions, but with that, it was enjoyable. They really well for what they've actually got. Yeah, like, there was some good atmosphere. Yeah. That first scene where we walked into the, with the doll's yeah. house, uh, and there was some, the stairs there that was nice and charlie got a few jump scares yeah, I don't like no it had quite a good no, storyline really it. and it's quite a deep thing to go with like dolls yeah. and stuff a lot of people do find that scary don't they i mean you don't really like that sort of stuff do you but uh yeah obviously the castle looks gorgeous at night all lit up and it's not very busy at all tonight meaning we should get a couple of runs through the attractions yeah it looks great and what i really like over here These pumps. yeah you got this big cauldron and such a simple effect to do but not many places do this you got the singing pumpkins, look at this. So simple, obviously there, nothing special about them pumpkins, the standard pumpkins, and what they've got is this hay bale just here with the projector just fastened inside it, shining over. And how good does that look, you know? So simple but so effective. And then you've got this cauldron here as well. And for the first time, he did smile, exposing teeth. Spells are in progress. How good does that look? Simple but effective. This, in my opinion, is what Alton Towers could do a little bit more of around the park. Because um, as much as Tower Street looks great, I imagine having some cauldrons like in Gloomy Wood, something like this set up maybe in some of the shop windows. How good are they? No one knows, but have no fear. At least the town's candy is safe and shall never again disappear. <laughs> Witches fly upon their brooms, spirits rise from their tombs. Creatures of the night will run for candy to consume. Little kitties all beware of fearsome frights and sneaky scares. Ghosts and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Better find a good disguise to blend in if you're wise. From door to door and you'll collect a sweet surprise. Creepy, crawly, slimy, goo, werewolves, howling, zombies drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and yell, boo! Monsters roaming everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of fright and fun beyond compare. Once a year, the fun goes, children dress in costumes. Jack o' lanterns come alive and sing this foolish tune. Witches fly upon their brooms, spirits rise from their tombs. Creatures of the night will hunt for candy to consume. Little kids are and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Go from door to door and you'll collect a sweet surprise. Baby girl is fighting to werewolves, how the zombies drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and you'll boom. Glasses rolling everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of quick and funny young compare. Look out, take care. Ghosts and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Don't run, don't scream. 
we got then, Charlotte? We have got Count Colin the Caterpillar. Count Colin the Caterpillar. There, there he is. is, the Count. There he is. Ooh, Hello. happy Halloween. And I'm certainly available from... Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer has <laughs> Colin the Caterpillar, and we've nearly ate all those. Is that one for me, is it? There's one left. We'll have half each. Half each, all right, yeah, I'll do your deal. Right, here we go. Time for attraction number two now. Ant break, 1349. This one's not suitable for people under the age of 12. And the uh, doll's house, that was, what, 10, was it? Oh, she's scoffing her face on uh, Colin's Caterpillar. There we are. <laughs> yeah, that was for uh, not recommending for people under the age of 10. This one is 12, so this is the scariest of the two and obviously we've got the seance to do and after this we'll go and do that little walk through the haunted hallows doesn't look too busy this one this is all based in normally what is the kingmaker walkthrough and there's some good little dark sections around here in the daytime so i look forward to seeing what it's like at night because obviously all the light comes in through the windows i assume it'll be all blacked in so it's quite dark inside there and we should get some good scares so we'll uh, see on the other side here we go outbreak lighting around the haunted castle and we just come out of outbreak and again really you can tell it's a budget attraction it's not a full blown out scare attraction which is kind of what i was expecting uh, we've heard a lot of things about this event a lot of people have come and said you know what it's really really good uh, which it is it's a good event but you just need to be aware they are uh, yeah, what's the yeah, budget is all I can yeah, think of really. Budget. I mean, they are budget scare attractions. I mean, that one used the Kingmaker walkthrough. Uh, it's a shame there was no smoke or anything in that one. It would have really benefited for some smoke inside there. Uh, and unlike Dolls House, which I forgot to mention, that was a, a free flow style maze. Like, you didn't have to put your hands on shoulders. Whereas with that one, you were supposed to put your hands on your shoulders. But what happened, Charlotte? If this man at the front was like. <laughs> it was running through. So that. That literally lasted, what, five minutes yeah. for us? Um, and yeah, we need another run through, we need another run through yeah. before we can uh, share our full thoughts. But don't get me wrong, it wasn't a, a bad attraction at all. I just wouldn't rate it up there with other Halloween attractions. What I've done, you know, this year, you can, it's just a budget attraction uh, through a walk through what's normally there throughout the year. Uh, they changed a few of the props around in there, uh, put some more atmospheric lighting in there and things. But yeah, it's worth pointing out if you are expecting big scares, them two attractions aren't for you. They are more just about walking through. Uh, there's a few little jump scares here and there. It depends what scares you, I suppose, really. But yeah, I just thought it was an all right attraction, really. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad we've come to, to see both of those. But anyway, this, uh, we did it in the daytime earlier on, uh, just before I started the vlog. And to be honest, out of the three things, even in the daytime, this is what I prefer. Like, I think this is the best, yeah, to this. be honest. And this is just a family walkthrough. Earlier on, it had no actors. We believe there's a couple of actors in there now. And it's just the Haunted Hallows, it's called. And to be honest, I think this is a really, really good attraction. This isn't normally here. Uh, maybe because we've done then two walkthroughs inside the castle themselves quite a few times now. So we know the route and all that kind of stuff. If you've not actually been to Warwick Castle before and you're just coming for Halloween, obviously you've never seen any of them set pieces before in there uh, during the normal operation, so you might find it a bit more scary. But one thing I can safely say that Warwick Castle are good at is creating an atmosphere. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. The lighting's fantastic all the way around. I can't wait to see the light in a second inside the Haunted Hallows, which I can take you guys inside. But we are going to definitely get some scares now, I hope so, with the seance, which we've just spoke to someone else. It's about 15 minutes, apparently. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that one. And we'll talk all about it. But yeah, the Haunted Castle, it looks great at night. Ooh, now we'll make our way down here and, uh, and go inside. But yeah, it's just all the, you know, it was just, it was just okay. You know, I haven't come out and felt, oh wow, you know, it was, it was brilliant. Have you? It was just, yeah, it was just okay. And okay, both of them were, were good water. I'd definitely take the doll's house out of the two for a bit of atmosphere at least. Need another run through outbreak too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, uh, not too busy, is it? So we'll definitely have another, uh, another run through. But yeah, I just think that this is a really nice walkthrough, and we've only done it in the daylight so far. So we'll go through now and see it all. Starts off with this skull. This is very beautifully lit, there's a lot of lighting down here. I mean, look at the atmosphere already when you walk down here. 
with the monk standing at either side. But yeah, the fact that this isn't normally here as well, I think, helps because with those, with them being normal walkthroughs in the daytime, you know what to expect with this. We walked in here and it was like, whoa. Here we go, got a bit of smoke blasting out. Ooh. There you enter. But I definitely say all these attractions are suitable for families, really. I wouldn't say the scares were too much for families, really. Oh, this is so atmospheric around here. All this camo net in, and it's worth pointing out, this has got the most theming of the three attractions. Look at it, it's the one that we can film as well, which is great. This really reminds me of Scary Tales, which was at Scarefest a few years ago at Alton Towers. If you remember Scary Tales. Into the pumpkin section now. Oh, hello. I hope you were planning to sneak up on me. <laughs> not very nice, is it? Up on a scarecrow. Oh, no, not very nice at all. Uh, just be warned, Dolly. Horror and mystery are worth it. so impressive as well. I mean, you stand here and look all the way down there. Brilliant. Plenty of smoke blasting out down here as well, which is what we want. So we've done the pumpkin section, now into the skeleton section. Ooh, there's me and Charlotte sat there on the bench. There's me and Sean. There we are in 100 years time. I like the audio down here as well. It's very mysterious, isn't yes. it? Very creepy. And here's Bert, my friend. Oh, let's go and see Bert. All these hanging up in the trees. So simple, but so effective, this one. Obviously, you've already got all the hashtag rock work along the side, which adds to it. Putting things like chairs with skeletons out. Hello, you're watching Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bert. Nice to meet you. It's <laughs> a big demon there. stunning this is I really really like it in my opinion it's worth coming to the event just for this like you know yeah it was uh, yeah the mazes were nice but this is just a lot of time and effort has gone into this to the spider section now are you scared of spiders I like how each section's got a different soundtrack as well it kind of reminds me of something what you'd see in America at like someone's home haunt or something. Like I've watched loads of home haunt videos on YouTube. This is kind of what, you know, it's just got that kind of feel to it. And again, this probably hasn't cost a lot to do, but this is really effective. I mean, look at this. You've already got like the little areas with all the water and everything. And you've got just stuck some gargles on it. I mean, that's great. Skull down there. Fountain of Eternal Youth. Into the bail section now. We've got lots of jokes. Seriously, guys, it's time to bail now. Come on. Only joking, don't bail on the vlog. Just looking back on this, it's gorgeous. Whoever designed this has really thought about the colours as well. I'd like to see more stuff like this at the Haunted Castle. Maybe another walk through here would be really good. Hey! Stop! Hey, stop. Hey, stop. There's the hey. It's the hey, stop. Better than a bus stop. 
The visuals are gorgeous. The capture, uh, the capture's picking it up well. The camera is capturing this really well. Can't get my words out. <laughs> Stroll in that Birmingham accent, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got another actor down here as well. What a lovely little family friendly walk through. Brilliant. Hi, uh. Evening. Good evening. Oh, you're booking me, sir. I am. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to do that in the graveyard. I'm the grave digger. I'll bury you, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's nice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah where can I get it from? eBay. What, eh? Yeah? eBay. eBay. Yeah. What's eBay? Website. Website? What's that? You get online. Online? What's that? Just online. Online? I don't think she knows what online, online is. Online? We're going to be here all night, my love. <laughs> carry on, aren't we? Carry on, my sweet. I like how you've got all these little sayings and names all on the gravestones. There's Lee. Leaning. Get it? Leaning? Leaning? I've been dying to meet you. Then you got this down at the end there. you got some stocks with some bales behind it. And then this archway, which again is beautifully lit. I think that's gorgeous. Yeah, like that, like that's a really nice, it's one of my favourite walkthroughs I've yeah. done all Halloween. Like it. It's got two actors inside it, yeah. but it's not the actors what make that. It's just the, I think it's the lighting to be yeah. honest. I mean, they've really thought about the, the lighting throughout it. It's lovely. Really nice. Really about what, Just saying, whoever designed this, they yeah. really thought about it, didn't they? It looked, doesn't it look really nice? All the lights are very, this is very wonderful atmospheric. Wonderful angle. It you is. Get to see the height of the trees. Yeah, all the lights shine up into the trees and the different bits of audio. I think it's a really nice attraction. Oh, that. Yes, really nice yes. walk through. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Yeah, it's lovely that. It's so simple but so effective. That's definitely, for me, my favourite thing, what I've seen here at the Haughty Castle. I think that's, uh, I I think that's lovely, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, we've got the seance coming up next. Yeah, now this you do have to pay extra for unless you're a premium millennial pass holder uh, where you do get to go inside uh, for free. You can do the attractions as many times as you want, but the seance you can only do once for the premium pass uh, unless you pay again, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's £3.50 though if you do have to pay for it. Um, so yeah, it's about a 15, 20 minute-ish experience. And all I really know about it is that it's been brought in by an external company. They've done it at various different festivals and stuff for quite a few years, I believe. And um, we're gonna be going down, sitting on some sort of table, putting some headphones on, and it's, yeah, oh, thank you, we'll come past. Uh, and then it's gonna be like we are conducting this seance, which is gonna be quite interesting. I think it's gonna be a very atmospheric experience. Quite a lot of our friends have done it. Uh, this Halloween and they said that it's absolutely terrifying and quite a few of them have said it's the best thing they've done this Halloween so we know it's not like a massive walkthrough or anything like that as far as I know it's just going to be one room that's what I'm imagining anyway um, but yeah we're going to get quite scared hopefully after doing some mild scares are you ready for the uh, for the seance? No. <laughs> yeah I've never done anything quite like that before I've done a real seance though actually but I've not done a fake seance so we'll uh, <laughs> So we'll see, I say, is it fate? I don't know, we'll soon find out. Who knows, we could be calling out for the real spirits. But yeah, it's got a really nice atmosphere here as well at night. First time at Warwick Castle in the dark and we'll uh, see you up at the seance. Okay, so we've just come out of Seance, and I've never experienced anything quite like that, to be honest. I mean, as you all know, I've done a lot of different attractions around the world, and a lot of different Halloween attractions, and that's definitely one of the most unique things I've ever done. So we were led, uh, there was no brief or anything like that, we were led straight into one of the rooms just inside uh, the castle, and then we went into a room, it was already quite atmospheric, wasn't it? Because you're in a real room inside the castle. I mean, we went in there, and the 
there's a lot of like old bookcases and things. Not theming, that is the actual, the actual castle itself. Yeah. So you've already got the build up, you've got you've the got, setting. Yeah. You've got uh, the you know, you're up queuing up here. It's not like you're going in a marquee or something. No, you know, you're actually, actually in there. You go in, there's a couple of lamps on in there, wasn't there? You're cold. Yeah, <laughs> there's a couple of lamps on inside there. You got one long table down the middle. Probably how many, about 40 people in there, maybe? Yeah, because it was two was a lot. tables in two different rooms. Two different rooms. Yeah. And it was literally a table with a white tablecloth on. There was a couple of bells uh, on, side, on the table, on the side. And then the headphones, and that was it. Like There was no blindfold or nothing like that. Um, we were told to put the headphones on. If you wanted to leave, you could do. All you needed to do was put your hand in the air and shout for help. Uh, but you wouldn't really need to shout, to be honest, because everybody's that quiet in there. What an atmosphere. It lasted around probably about, it's hard to judge, to be honest, 15, 20 yeah, minutes. 15. It's worth pointing out, there's no special effects in there. There's no actors in there. There's no touching. But, oh, my God, that has got to be one of the most intense attractions of this Halloween. You know, which is, oh, is, is great. Yeah. Like, and you did well. You kept your headphones yeah, on. They did say not, you could take I off if you wanted. Not Help! <laughs> yeah, two people did bail yeah, out. Two people bailed out hard. They bailed, yeah. Or haunted Aloe down there, they, took, they bailed. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, you know what? That, it was so clever. So the storyline basically, you are conducting a sounds. I mean, me personally, uh, I don't really cover it that much on the channel, but I do actually go to quite a few uh, different haunted happenings, events, and things. I have been to quite a few. I've actually conducted uh, a Ouija board and a few different sounds, actual real sounds as well, trying to contact the dead. Um, so there's nothing quite like doing it for real. But don't get me wrong you know I thought that it didn't scare me really because I don't nothing really scares me that much but I can see why someone will be very terrified in that how alone did you feel I was absolutely <laughs> terrified you know, 40 people in there and without the you know pitch black, pitch black. You yeah, the, thing yeah the start you put your headphones on and then the lights go out they flash out and then that's it for the whole thing there is no light for 15 20 minutes it is pitch black and um, they ask you to put your hands on the table uh, obviously you don't need to keep them there if you don't want to me personally I put them back on my lap terrified that you know. I, I was trying to find Sean's hand and I couldn't <laughs> yeah find it. Well, I was just I sat there with my eyes closed just you know just chilling out having a rest uh, but yeah, the storyline with that, obviously, you can do it in a seance. And what was so clever about that, kind of similar, and we've got some spoilers now for Darren Brown's Ghost Train, so don't watch this bit, just skip about 30 seconds. Uh, it was similar to Darren Brown's Ghost Train, I thought, oh, yeah. with how, how lone you felt. Do you not think so? Like, on the Ghost Train, when you've got that... Yeah, when you've got the headset on and the yeah. audio, and you, you feel alone. Yeah, like, you're on that tube mean. train alone. You're Whereas right. on that, it felt exactly the same, obviously, without yeah. the VR. I felt it you felt know. even more like you was on your Yeah, own. you did. Like, you, <laughs> you know, it was brilliant, that was. Yeah. And the also... In the second scene of Darren Brown's Ghost Train, you know where it's like the girl goes, I need to get off, I need to get off. It was that same sort of style in there because what the person who was conducting the sounds was doing was actually asking people around the table to lie on the table. I was nearly going to get up and get on the table because I thought it was that yeah. realistic. And do you know how many people he has to do that for? Nine people. And what were we told before we went in? You're not allowed to go into the attraction unless there's nine people booked on. So that all fits to it. Basically, they won't let you go in there just as a two if it was quiet because it would ruin it. Because the whole feel of that is that other people around you have been taken away and brought onto the table. I thought that was so good. It was very loud and they're the best quality headphones I've ever listened to. That was like, absolutely yeah, amazing. But the headphones were brilliant. Yeah, it actually headphones. felt like it's there was people so walking around. Compact on your ears as well. It was so loud. It was brilliant. You had whispers in your ears. And the scariest bit for me was. Was when it felt like someone was breathing down into your ear. And, yeah. yeah, and it's brilliant. There's no acts involved or anything like that. Yes, you could do a really intense attraction with actors, but with that, I kind of like how it's very clever, just as it is without actors. And that's something what it's sort of bragging rights for them, really. They can say, we've made people terrified without any special effects, without any actors. I just thought it was a good, solid attraction. One of the best things I've done this Halloween, that yeah, was. I really like you know, it. And if you do get scared of the dark, claustrophobic, I, I wonder why he said claustrophobic at first. I but don't think you, it's that claustrophobic. Do you not? See, I do. I think, you know, you're there in the dark. You're like, come on, we need some light now. I don't you think know. it's claustrophobic, but I am terrified of the dark, so I'm proud of myself for staying in there. Yeah, I mean, you know, you feel so alone in that. What a really nice attraction that was, and definitely the highlight of this event. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, it's well worth coming just for that uh, and the Haunted Hollows for me. Yeah. Well, you got four solid attractions, really, you know. 
I think I'd be right. I enjoyed uh, Doll's House, you know, and uh, and the other walkthrough what we did. But yeah. you know, I just think them that two, they are the the top out of the four that we've done. But uh, we're gonna have another run through both of these mazes before uh, wrapping up our night here at the Haunted Castle. <laughs> Seance, what a really enjoyable and different experience that was. <laughs> So we just had another run through then on Doll's House and also Outbreak as well. Uh, both the second run throughs are actually better than the first ones. Again, you can still tell the budget attractions, but we had a few more scares that time. It was a little bit better and definitely leading the group uh, in Outbreak for the second time was a lot better. It made it a good six or seven minute uh, walkthrough experience. It meant that we were going at a nice pace through it. I just think that could be enhanced even more with, uh, I don't know what they can do smoke-wise in there, but a little bit of smoke would be nice inside there. Uh, a little bit better light and a few more darker scenes in there uh, will be better. As at the moment it is quite bright in there, a bit more show lighting would be nice. Uh, and yeah, just a bit of a rework on some of the scares. But overall, it's not a bad Halloween attraction outbreak at all. Doll's House was even better that time as well. Uh, the group we were with made it quite funny actually, they were quite scared uh, in there at some of the scenes. And yeah, like the Jack in a Box and everything, it's a really good concept that is. It would be nice to see them expand on that uh, even more so for next year. But yeah, in terms of the Haunted Castle, it's not a bad Halloween event at all. If you want big scares, then this probably isn't the place for you other than the seance, which definitely will get your heart racing. That was a really good attraction. Um, for me, out of the four things I've experienced, uh, in the top place, definitely the seance, a really unique attraction, something very different. And in second place, only just behind it, to be honest for me, it's gonna be the walkthrough over there, it's gonna be the Haunted Hollows, because, so simple, but so effective in terms of all the things in there. The lighting's gorgeous, plenty of smoke. Uh, there might only be two actors in there, but again, uh, it's not them what make it. It's just the actual experience of walking around in there uh, that was really good. Yeah, Charlotte, what's been your favourites? Uh, yeah, I really favorites? enjoyed it. My favourites have been Seance and Haunted Hollows. Haunted Hollows, yeah, and yeah. the two mazes. We're not bad yeah, attractions. Yeah, the two mazes were not bad, but obviously when we've done so many Halloween events. Yeah, you look at the likes of Extreme yeah. Screen Park and things, and you, you can't compare them, can you? Yeah, the for job. a budget attraction, they do the yeah. do the job. There's a few good scares. Yeah. And yeah, that's what it is really. Not bad at all. Obviously, the event uh, is free to come in if you've got a million annual pass, uh, and you do get the attractions included, including one run through uh, of Seance as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching our first ever vlog from the Haunted Castle here at Warwick Castle. I'm sure we'll be back again in a future uh, event. Come and check it out here. It's a very new Halloween event. As much as they've done late night openings over Halloween before, they haven't really been getting to the scary industry until the past few years really so it'll be very nice to see what they do going forward I'd love to see one big huge solid maze here uh, even if you put it in like a marquee with a big facade on or something just to say they've got one big solid attraction and then all these smaller things building up to that uh, well thank you very much for joining me in Charlotte that is it for Halloween 2017 we've done some good events haven't we this Halloween it's been really good for me it's got to be extreme screen park yeah, okay. that uh, tops it and the village my new favourite scare maze that I ever did. It's it was really good. It is. That's all for Halloween. But I have enjoyed Screen Park Worldwide this year and the different events we've done throughout the UK. Uh, next year, I've already got plans for Halloween and uh, what we're going to be doing. We are going to be going to some more abroad Halloween ab events next year, along with a few bits in the UK, what we didn't get around to doing this year that we wanted to. Thank you very much for joining us at Screen Park Worldwide 2017. And that means it's time to, for the last time, spook those credits. See you later, guys. Ooh. Bye. From the Haunted Cat.